Hello, gamers. It is I, EA, and I am back again. Yes, gamers, I am back. Did you miss me? On my previous video, I told you all the evil that I have done to you and let you say nothing. Now, gamers, I allow one more great evil. Yes, a great evil. I allowed one of my developers, my precious developer, I allowed him to make fun to celebrate the death of a fellow YouTuber. But I fear there will be nothing you can do. He will not lose his job. We may print up some phony reprimand. Yes, a phony reprimand to make you all happy. But you will still buy our games. And this time, this developer, he works for a parent company of ours, someone that we hold under our precious umbrella. Yes, Bioware. He works for both us and Bioware. And basically what it was is this poor YouTuber dying of criminally ill cancer as soon as it was announced that he had passed away. We allowed this developer, their precious developer, to come online and celebrate. Why? Because we hate critics. We have nothing for critics. We slap them down like flies. We care nothing for them. With each critic that passes on, we can sell our games, our precious games, because you will do nothing. The only way you could stop us is to stop buying them. Instead, you will go online. You will complain for a little while. But then it will be over and it will pass. We will give you a phony statement like usual. We lie all the time and you buy into it. You buy our games. So go ahead. Go online. Complain if you must. But we will do nothing. Why? We are simply too big for you to stop. We have done everything that we wanted to do. Loot crates, microtransactions, games without even a story mode, just simply to fill our wallets. And now we do an unspeakable act. We allow this developer, this lovely developer, to sow salt in the wound of a fellow YouTuber who has passed away of terminally ill cancer. It has to make you wonder, doesn't it, gamers? What will we be capable of next? Yes, what will we be capable of? Stay tuned. Watch. Drop us if you try, but you can do nothing. Why? Because you're so divided. You'll complain, but you'll still buy our precious games. We are unstoppable. Yes. Hello gamers, welcome to Xbox Beyond the Box. I'm your host, Dragon Dust. And gamers, I was portraying EA again. And quite frankly, I got the story that hit my uh, attention was from my wife, who's basically on Twitter a lot, and she said, hey, look at this. A YouTuber who was a critic basically dies of terminally ill cancer. And to uh, quote my wife on this one, what's next, EA and Bioware? Are you going to go down to St. Jude's Ward, the, the cancer ward, and make fun of the children there dying? I mean, this developer, I don't know where he stands at in the EA chain of command, but by hell, I, if I was somebody on the higher-ups, I'd be slapping his ass out the door. I mean, that is literally uncalled for. I mean, what's next, EA and Bioware? You hope the rest of us pass on? You hope the rest of us get a terminally Ill illness? The ones that have been criticizing your games? Maybe you'd like to see me taken out. However, you know, with that being said, I don't wish death on you. I don't celebrate your illnesses or the illnesses in your family. I just wish you would make better games and treat the people who pay your salaries with a little bit more respect. We are gamers and we are people most of all. Now gamers, I've said it once and I've said it again. If you want to put the brakes on EA on stuff like this, don't just go online and complain. Quit shelling out uh, money out of your wallet. Quit putting your hard-earned money into their games, into their loot crates, into their crap. You know, because at the end of the day, what stops EA is when you stop buying their shit. 
With that being said, this has been Xbox Beyond the Box. I've been your host, Dragon Dust, and fuck you, EA.